Hi, C player, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Ow. Let's get started. I got rid of the cap. Amazing. So this is a cargo ship. The Knorr. Clothstar. Feppet. Viking. Viking ship. Tusen. Wow. So cool. So there is all this. The travel. Cool. A cargo ship uh, is really necessary. During that time. Swim me across the river. Really interesting. We learn about the cargo ship. It's a little weird to have it here, but eh. in the Jorvik. So it's cool. So there's quite a difference between warships and cargo. Oh. I got rid of the cab again. See you in a second. The coastal trader. Wow. So there is a lighter ship uh, than cargo and warship. I still need quite a lot of men. Wow. So let's see. So the boat. Uh, uh, she transporting goods, merchants and sailors from Scandinavia to its colonies. That's pretty impressive. They seen a replica of the Viking ship Skuldulfi 3 1040. Wow. Cool. Really well done. The one uh, still curious why it didn't have any ship uh, during the we are now. Nice entry. Though I wish we have a, a squid game too that took place uh, during the Ragnar, the beginning of the Viking. Oh, we are in graveyard here. Oh, the cross and the hammer. The slow mercy of Christian and Pagan believes can to see in these two artifacts. This pedant of Thor's hammer has been decorated with a Christian cross. The person who Worried like they had both pagan and Christian beliefs. This mold has been carved to cast both Christian crosses in the Norse god Thor's hammer in metal. The craftsmen who own it could use it to make pendants for, e for his customers, whether they were Christian at them or somewhere in between. Or somewhere in, in between. Wow. Viking Age. Beautiful. So many cool details. Look at it. Wow. A poly wedding custom made to mold either a crucifix or a Thor's hammer with a bronze cross and silver hammer pendant. Denmark. We need to visit Denmark. That museum. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. I wonder how they found, found it though. I don't know if you like rumours, but I do. And rumour has it York is one of England's most haunted cities. Built by the Romans, it's said that ghosts of fallen soldiers still roam the city, inspiring a locally brewed beverage. The Centurion's ghost must be a pale ale. To emulate this mystical atmosphere, level designers took the opportunity to place an underground location, reusing Roman-era abandoned sewers. It's a way for players to walk around unnoticed. But what if those ghost rumours are true? They're not true. Ghosts don't exist. Sleep well. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Do you believe in ghosts though? Comment in the in the section. Do I believe it? Yes. So that uh, did I know don't know what it was haunted during the Roman. Hmm. 
interested to took uh, the Death Inspir Inspiration try to make it. But I wish that we had actually a ghost uh, or, or a fallen Roman soldier. Because a uh, Roman through the sewer. Oh, well, pretty impressive history. You know something behind you, but you can find it. Found it. Yeah. You just. It's like uh, looking at you, but you can't see it. Or something. Or more interesting people or something. I mean, you're in the sewer and the ghost is looking at you and make some noises and you be scared and you're looking where the noise came from. You didn't see nothing. But yeah, then if you're lucky you can see the ghost or something from the room that told you where it's falling. More text I guess. <laughs> What's a wick? That's interesting. So they means the uh, how the Vikings uh, came up with. Interesting. You can see yeah, if you want to read. Just pause the video. A rusted scale. One perfect for trade. Oh, beautiful. It's pretty good. Quality for an uh, artifact. Beautiful though. Viking Age. Our a rusted scale, most perfect for trade, Viking Age. York Agrolisk. They call Trust York. Okay. Nice. We. Boink. Boink. King Alfred, what's up? Oof, slavery, colors, chains, and iron shackles like this found in Ireland would have been worn by slaves in the Viking era. Scandinavian settlers may have brought slaves with them to the Anglo Saxon kingdoms. As they conquered more territory, they likely enslaved more people. However, slavery was not new to the Anglo Saxon territories. Even though Christianity opposed slavery in theory, there were many slaves in Anglo-Saxon society. Scandinavian settlers may have bought slaves from the local Anglo-Saxon. Slaves, slaves were used by both Anglo-Saxon and Sc Scandinavians who work in farming, construction and more, while slaves had no rights of that time. Some might be able to save enough money to buy their own freedom. Slavery is a horrible man for them. I know Shane and a color for a slave or hostage. Viking Age, National Museum of Ireland. We need to visit that though. It must be horrible. Especially there that time. Being a slave. Ugh. I just know where uh, they build dogs to stop the slavery. That the slaves dogs to build the construction. I didn't know that. I know that the uh, Romans do, did that. They're the ancient Roman, uh, the golden age of Rome. Interesting, but horrifying. Next, the pound of Yorwick. Wow, nice. The top of Yorwick, yes, it's presented in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Contemporary Hidden Steves. Mm, interesting. It's beautiful though. I wish the all camera can uh, get up here too, but no. Oh, you can see the bridge here. Beautiful. Look. Our camera can get like that so far we can get. And no treasure. Naming the land. This map shows our selection of location. Location in Anglo Saxons. Britain, Britain, whose names have their origin in Old Norse. The Scandinavians were not the only people to name their surroundings. The Anglo-Saxon had named their cities and towns before the Viking arrived. 
and they continue to rename them long after the Vikings settled. For example, the Roma town Emporiacum was called Eoforwick by the Anglo-Saxons, renamed Jorvik by the Vikings, and is today known as York. Creative it is at its finest. <laughs> An artist map showing a selection of all Norse place names in England. Cool. I wish you could have this uh, big ass map. <laughs> Though I wish. <laughs> On the Panari. Wow. Nice. England is pretty big. Okay. I'm gonna go. Go over there. See you in a second. A skull. A human skull. Under analysis. Viking Age. Raptor Channel Trench. Raptor. UK. Oh. Interesting. We can make a good family here, but I'm oh. not happy with that farm there. Brother Elric is really good at pecoring. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. That's it, Bell. Out.